Hi friends, in the last lecture, we learned about the uh, trigonometric functions or the ratios. And today we will uh, do the exercise. We'll, uh, this is page number 210 uh, of your book, okay, IG's book. And uh, look here, this is exercise two. In question one to 22, all lines are in centimeters. Find the sides marked with the letters, give your answer to three significant figures. So look here, three significant figures means up to three significant figures. Uh, answer must mean three significant figures, okay? So look here, uh, first question is, this is a triangle with the angle is 27. And look here, this is a box. And I told you that, um, when there's a box, okay, and um, this indicates that this is a right angle, and one side is 10 centimeter because they said these all lengths are in centimeters, and one is A. This A is not uh, letter that this is uh, adjacent, okay, and because some uh, in the sum look here on um, uh, question number two, this is this indicates side B. So these are only letters to indicate the side. So this is not adjacent or opposite or whatsoever, okay? So we will, first we will uh, check, we will um, check that which side is actually the opposite or the adjacent hypotenuse, okay? So look here, I told you in the last lecture that when both the angles fall, fall on the same side, okay? Let, okay, look here this is 27 degree angle okay angle is 27 degree and this is right angle in the 90 degree angle okay 90 degree. now both angles are on this line okay from this to this mean this line okay i'm highlighting this from here to here okay so this line okay so this is this line let's suppose we are expressing this by the letters a B, C, okay? So A, B, side A, B is like when the both angles are on the same side, and I told you when both angles are on the same side, one side, so the, the side is known as adjacent, okay? So this side, A, B is known as adjacent. So we can say A, B, and you can also look here, this is a capital C, so you can see a small C here because when the capital uh, angles is representing with the cap capital letters so you can say the opposite of this capital alphabet is small c so you can write here or you can also write a g d j for adjacent okay so i'm writing a small c and we don't know about the length of this uh, side okay now second thing this is also alphabet and we don't know about the side. But keep in mind, we have to find this, not C, okay? This is also unknown, that's why I put the question mark here, but we have to find only the letters, okay? We have to find the letters only, like this A is, uh, okay? We have to find this side or whatever the side. So this side, this I put here C, so you can write here, this is adjacent, okay? So I'm writing here, this is adjacent, okay, A, D, J. So this is adjacent. Now, the side which is opposite to the basic angle, okay, this side. So the side, the basic angle, as we learned, this is known as the opposite, okay? And the side which is opposite to the right angle, this is known as the hypotenuse. Okay, so uh, we came to know the, all the sides adjacent. Uh, you can also write, uh, no need to write the four, you can also write, you know, like the HYP. So I'm, uh, okay, you can only write like this. No need to write the full word. Okay, uh, you can OPP, you can also represent it in the three letters. So OPP, okay, 
or OPP. Okay, for opposite, you can write opposite or the OPP or OP or, or only O. Okay, so these all indicates this is a uh, opposite side. So how to solve this? How to know this side? What is the value of this A? Okay, so very simple. As we learned the trigonometric functions, so okay, uh, so we learned three types of functions. Okay, first is so I'm writing again. So, so we learned this last time. So look here. So which of all these three functions, trigonometric functions? So we first decide which trigonometric function we will use. S O H C A H or T O A. So look here, this is very simple. Just check the diagram or the shape. What, what are the sides which are given to you? Okay, so hypotenuse is given. Okay, so I am uh, simply I am uh, marking the H because H is given. So H is given. Okay, so these we can use. Second thing. And this is opposite. So we have to find the opposite. Now look here, where is opposite? Okay, so here is opposite and also here is opposite, okay? So look here, so the best, best variable, best function we use, we can use to solve this question is SOA, mean uh, sine and um, sine angle, okay? Then is equal to O over H, so this is, sign and this is you know angle so i will i'm giving uh giving some space because i will write angle here then o over h and you know o is indicating the opposite and h is indicating the hypotenuse so look here uh, sine of 27 because this is the basic angle which is given okay so we will take this as a basic so sine 27 okay so sine 27, okay. Now I'm writing again here, sine 27. Now check opposite and hypotenuse, okay. Because uh, opposite is unknown, it is uh, indicated by A, okay. And hypotenuse is 10, so I will write here, Instead of four, I will write here A because we have to find the opposite mean, which is A, and hypotenuse, which is 10 centimeters because all the values measurements are in centimeters. Now look here, we have to find A, this A. So we will keep A on one side and all other values on the other side. So I am keeping here. A on one side, and now 10 centimeter. Uh, I will take this 10 centimeter with the sine 27. So, sine 27. Okay, here 10 is dividing. So, okay, so 10 centimeter like this. Okay, it is dividing on the other side. When we take 10 to the other side, so it will multiply with. Uh, sign 27. Now using the calculator, you'll find the sign 27. So sign 27, 27. Okay. So this is equal to by using the calculator, I find it. Uh, okay. Found it and it's uh, 0 0.4539. So I'm writing 4. Okay. You can write a round figure to 4. Okay. So I, run, I, I rounded it because it was 0 0.45399. So I rounded to 0 0.454, okay? Multiply with 10 centimeter, okay? So this is value will be equal to 0 0.454 multiplied by 10, 4.54 centimeter 
So this is answer because our answer, they said your answer must be three significant figures. So this is three significant figures. So I, I can write instead of a, or in front of a 4.54, 4.54. So this is known now. So 4.54. Okay, so this is our answer of A. a. Okay, we're fine. So now I'm solving the other question and question number six, okay? So the main thing in any question, okay, uh, because we are finding the trigonometric functions, so we have to know about the uh, opposite side, adjacent side, and the hypotenuse. So this is very simple. I told you when both angles are on one line like this one, okay? So this is 11 here. The value of this side is 11 centimeter. So this 11 centimeter is what? Adjacent because both angles are on this line. So these are angles, this is 90 degree angle and this is 71 degree. So this is, what is this? This is um, I'm writing here. So this is adjacent. So I'm writing A, um, A, D, J. Okay. So what is this? This is the, what is this? This is opposite. Okay. So this, So now, so look here, I told you, uh, you have to write all the trigonometric functions like this um, formula for this, finding the size or finding the function of S or H. So, um, okay, S O H C O A. COH, sorry. So we have to write the trigonometric functions here S O H C A H T O A. Look here, which sides are again? This is opposite, and this is probably. And definitely this is the uh, hypotenuse. So I will write uh, H, Y, P, okay, or H only, okay. So I'm writing the H or H, Y, P. So it's simple, H here. And this is also the A, H, and this O, this H. So look here, uh, just mark the, or take the sides and the given things in it. So first is adjacent is given. So this is 11 centimeter, so I will write A, this is given. Now, second thing we have to find here, this is um, main important because it is also not given, H is not given, but we have to find the opposite. So I will mark the opposite, okay? So look here, from all these three, two have double take. So take this function, okay? Take this function, so T O A. Now ten of 71 will be equal to opposite over A. So what is opposite? Opposite is unknown, which is value is K. And A is value is K and adjacent, mean is adjacent, which is 11 centimeter and 1071, okay? Now, what to do? Uh, we will take, we will keep this K on one side, okay? This is unknown and take all others 1071. This is already on one side. So we'll take this 11 centimeter uh, on the other side, so it is 
writing. So I will take to the side and will multiply with the other. It was divided into the uh, k. Okay. So when we'll take to the other side, so it will multiply. Now find the k uh, 1071 using your calculator. Okay. So I'm writing here 1071 is equal to 2.90. Okay. 2.90 and multiply by 11 centimeter. So now multiply it. So I'm multiplying using the calculator. So this is K is equal to 31.94. So we need three significant figures. So we round this to 3.9, okay, uh, 31.9 centimeters. Okay, so this is the answer of the question this person so k is value is so i'm writing is equal to thirty one point nine centimeter so this was all about this is from question number one to six if you have any questions um, question related to this topic or uh, from this exercise you can uh, uh, comment and uh, you can do the comment. I will solve the question for you. Okay. You can uh, comment the question number. Okay. So I will solve the question for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching the lecture.